Welcome to another episode of Gridworks, where we showcase different downloads and mods for sim racing. This week, we take a look at the BTCC updated 2019 to 2024 skin pack for the BTCC cars in R Factor 2 Tongue Twister. If you have all that DLC, simply subscribe to that and you'll be provided with the updated liveries and drivers for the 2024 season. To test it all out, we'll be at Brands Hatch Indy for a quick four lap race. In Ronan Pearson's number 14 Hyundai, Pearson came away with his first ever British Touring Car Championship race win today in race three of round two of that championship. Congrats to him and the entire team. To get the AI to do some pretty reasonable times around the track that matched up with the real lifetimes I saw over the weekend, I cranked up the difficulty to 120%. It had them going a little bit quicker than the real life qualifying times I saw on Saturday, but uh, I was kind of going faster than those times myself, so I needed to boost the difficulty a bit. AI limiter set to 100%. This will kind of bunch the group of drivers together a little bit more on the track and make for some closer racing. That's the end of the session, P2. We're on row one to start the race. We managed to grab second position to Jake Hill's flyer of a lap, 46.850. We managed to 47.303. Daniel Robottom starts third and Beside him is four-time champ, Colin Turkington. Floor it, green, green, green. And we're away. We get ahead of Hill off the line. He doesn't find the traction that you normally see the BMWs have at the start of a British Touring Car race. As we head around Outside. Druids for the first Never. time, we'll try to put some distance between us and the number 24 laser tool, laser tools racing driver. Ooh. A little wide out of Graham Hill Bend. We didn't have a lot of traction on that Good part shot. of the course. Really at the edge of grip heading into Clark Curve in the number 14 Hyundai of Rona Pearson. Pearson benefiting from the reverse grid draw today. Turkington winning race one and race nice two. One, this is terrific. Exactly what we came Cold here number for. 11 out of the bucket. The track temperature is rising. It's now 49 Celsius. And put the Carlet. second year BTCC driver Hold at the line. start of the grid for race three. He capitalized on that and came away with the victory. His first ever BTCC race win. He made a brilliant maneuver around here to get back past Aaron Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith having a better launch off the line in his voxel to start the race, but Pearson regained the lead with a nice move there. Hill is still pressuring us as we head up Paddock, out of Paddock Hill Bend side. into Druids for the third time. Still there. Clear left. Hill had an interesting day. His steering column broke. That's barely a scratch. Just ignore it. Coming out of Paddock Hill Bend up towards Druids, he luckily just went into the gravel and didn't sustain any injuries or anything like left. that. As he tries to go around the outside, he might have to use some hybrid to put some distance between us and the BMWs behind. Keep it together, we'll win this. You're a tenth off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 0.5 off the pace. Sector three is 0.4 off the pace. Try not to make any mistakes now as we Come around Druids for the last time. Now, the guy behind is catching. Turkington is now up into second position, getting past Jake Hill. Try and keep him at bay. Four time champion knows what he's doing. Cover the inside line off. He's forced to try to go around the outside and cannot get by us. We're going to hold on to the victory today. You won. Fantastic drive. 
replicating the race three win that Ronan Pearson achieved today in round two of the British Touring Car Championship. Colin Turkington grabbed the most points today, winning race one and race two in the real life event. Sutton ended up in the lead of the championship. Turkington now sits second and Ingram down to third in the overall standings of the British Touring Car Championship for 2024. Let me know in the comments if you are enjoying the 2024 real life contest. I think it's been pretty exciting so far, actually, with quite a bit of action up front with former champions racing head to head with each other. And I'm hoping that the hybrid system does actually work well to add a level of equilibrium amongst the competitors on the grid this season. And that's a wrap from Brands Hatch. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.